Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Pestalon Ginger. If you want to be the king and queens of the do-it-yourself world, this Chapin 24-volt battery backpack sprayer might just be your answer. Today, we're going to go over calibration and see if it's actually valid and reliable. But if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe to my page and like the video if you actually like it. So the one thing that I really like about the idea of this backpack sprayer is 99% of the labels that I deal with say that you have to put so many gallons and so many ounces of solution down per minute. Now that's been the one thing holding down the do-it-yourself world is the reliability and the validity of being able to put the product down at the right ratio. Now the one thing I really like are these claims that this is going to do a continuous spray for up to 1.75 hours. Now I'm going to go ahead and open the box, pull it out, and let's see what we got. All right, so this is how it pieces together. Uh, you've got your hose wand, you've got your battery on the left, uh, the cap, and then the end of the hose line itself that goes into the pump. Now the battery is just going to clip in up underneath here and then uh, you've got your instructions but you know most of us don't like instructions so we're never going to read that. Um, <laughs> it's got a really nice filter to it uh, to catch debris and looking on the inside it's a pretty simple setup. It's got a, an additional screen filter, it looks like, on the inside here, if I pull it out so you guys can see that. Um, that's to make sure that if one slips by the top screen, or if you choose not to apply it, that you can put this back in. All right, so it took me about 30 seconds to set this up. It was really quick. I've added uh, about two and a half to three gallons of water in the tank. I haven't put the battery in. Just wanted to show you guys what it does when you do put the battery in. Fingers crossed, I've heard rumors that these come pre-charged. And so I really just kind of wanted to see if that was actually true or not. So I've put it in and so far nothing's happening. Interesting. So there is a chance that the battery is not charged or there's an on button, which it looks like there is an on switch right here. So let's go ahead and turn it on. You can hear it building pressure. Oh, the water just went down the hose line. I can see it expanding and that was pretty cool. So our next test is, uh, I just want to see what kind of patterns it makes. So I'm going to put it on my back. Oh, it's got a really nice spray to it. Um, our next step is we really just want to figure out how many gallons per minute that we're using. And I kind of want to test a couple different patterns first to see, because when I'm spraying lawns, it's gonna be slightly different when I'm spraying pests. So I'm just gonna take this over here on the concrete and see what kind of patterns I wanna make. Uh, a heavier pattern I like to use for pest control, but I wanna see how the distribution ends up. And that's looking pretty good. And it's coming out pretty fast. I'm kind of shocked right now how well this is working. Now I'm gonna adjust the nozzle a little bit and tighten it up a little bit uh, to see if I can get a little bit of a fine mist and see what that looks like. And the fine mist is coming out pretty decent. And you can see here, this is great for lawn care. It's a little too misty for my taste. And so I'm gonna make a minor adjustment on that. And now, it's coming through really even. So let's go ahead and do a calibration test. Now that I've got my nozzle adjusted properly, I want to do a volume test. I want to figure out how much liquid is coming out of the backpack sprayer per minute so I can do a proper calibration to make sure that I'm getting so many ounces of active ingredient per thousand square feet according to the label. Now this test is pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to spray for a total of 15 seconds to figure out how many ounces are coming out. All right, so we can tell by the jar here that we've got about 12 and a half to 13 ounces 
uh, in the jar. Uh, if we do a multiple here and times that by four, 13 times four, we've got 52 ounces per minute of liquid that's going to be coming out. Uh, now that's gonna set our per minute standard. I'm gonna test it one more time just to make sure that it's coming out at that exact ratio. And there you have it. Again, for the second time, we've got 12 and a half to 13 ounces in the Blendtec jar. Um, and that just kind of tells us that the pump in the backpack sprayer is spraying out consistently. And that's the most important part. I mean, if you think about it, these companies don't spend millions of dollars for you to kind of just wing it. All right, guys, we're up to calibration. So most of these labels are gonna be per thousand square feet. So I did this really simple. Everything heading uh, this direction and on the inside of that tape measure, on the concrete only, that's 25 feet by 10, gives me 250 square feet. Now I should be able to evenly spray this within 15 seconds. And that's kind of what we're looking at. Now this is gonna teach us a couple of things. It's gonna teach us our walking pace, but it's also gonna teach us how much chemical distribution we're gonna get across the area. And that's 15 seconds. Let's check it out real quick before it evaporates. This is just water. You can see I'm doing pretty good, but you can see there's a lot of lack in the middle, uh, which means that I'm not walking fast enough. I think the amount of water coming out it's okay, but let's dry it up and then let's take another pass and make it quicker. So as you can see with the second pass, I'm walking faster, but I'm still not getting an even spray across the concrete, which just tells me walking faster is not the best way to do it. I think I just have to increase my volume and do my walking pace in a minute and a half. Now, the point of this exercise is to establish a walking pace over a thousand square feet so we can be putting down the proper amounts of chemical. And given this, you can see the spottiness across the way, the evaporation, and it's only 75 degrees outside is kind of killing my distribution. And so walking at a minute and a half, just adding an additional 30 seconds and slowing my pace down is gonna be the biggest thing. So instead of having 52 ounces of water per minute, I'll have 78 ounces per minute. I feel like that worked pretty good. I'm getting a real nice even distribution on the foundation of the house. And I was able to open the nozzle up, kind of get in those cracks and crevices where the wasps like to hide out. And it's a really good tool. Like I've, I've got nothing against it. Feels good on the back. The straps are good, holds nice. It's one of the nicer backpacks I've ever worn. And so this backpack sprayer is great. It's both valid, it's reliable. There are a few tweaks that you could do to put down more water. And that was kind of my biggest issue. I like to do things per minute per thousand square feet. So you may want to redo it as a minute and a half per thousand square feet so you're not so rushed. Get a little bit more water down so the chemical doesn't get washed out and that's going to be the best thing for it. So that would be the one alteration that I would do to this. On a professional level we have three thousand to six thousand dollar pump sprayers and it really allows us to put it down a lot quicker uh, and with a lot more volume of water. Now I find this to be great for dithiopyr pre-emergence, great for insecticides, great for herbicides. I'm not sure I'd really uh, trust this as much with uh, a fertilizer unless you're going at really low rates and you can find a liquid fertilizer. Uh, but if you're looking to be the king and queen of do-it-yourself, I definitely start with this. If you guys have any questions or concerns, hit me up in the comments. I posted a link to this backpack sprayer in the description. I get a small kickback, so if you are going to buy it, buy it through me uh, off of Amazon. Uh, till the next time, guys, this is my review of the Chapin 24-volt rechargeable backpack sprayer. Have a good one.